Yo, I'm SickFishTix and thanks for clicking on my video. New week and a decent set of free games have been made available for your beautiful face to enjoy. So buckle in, it's going to be quickity quick and straight to the point. If you want to get these free game videos once a week and not have to do the research, then remember to subscribe. Let's go. We can start by smashing skeletons, defeating dragons and battling giant golems in Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, a Wonderland's one-shot adventure. Damn, that was a mouthful. You'll have the pleasure of experiencing the 2013 quest that started it all in this standalone campaign, jam-packed with fantasy, mountains of magical loot and a bit too much pressure on the saturation dial if you ask me. It's sitting in with mixed reviews on Steam, kinda rough, but I guess that's what you get when you try and sell a DLC as a separate game. Well, hopefully it's worth the zero dollars I spent on it. Next up, we have Low Oxygen, where you get to explore an abandoned facility on the planet you've crash landed on, solving a variety of puzzles with funky plants along the way. It's fairly well executed, it's a good art style and puzzles that are just difficult enough for my two brain cells to feel proud every time we solve one of them. Win-win, I guess. Next up, we have Beer Factory Prologue, which is a business simulation and management game. Take the challenge of managing your own beer factory, employees, production lines, as well as the import and export of your juicy, juicy merchandise. To be honest, I didn't even know there was even a market for a beer brewing game, but I guess I was proven wrong considering this bad boy has 400 reviews, sending it to the very positive tier. The prologue is like a demo version of the game to give you a sense of what it has to offer. If you end up enjoying it, you can add it to your wishlist as it's coming out in Q2 2023. Next up we have Helpless. In Helpless you take the role of a kid and exploring a decaying land where the sun ruins civilization as we know it. You get to find abandoned places and scavenge them for items in order to make sense of the world you're in. All the help you'll need during this perilous trip might come to you in unexpected forms, a twist that I think is really well done. In fairness, Helpless feels cozy, soothing, followed by a warm hug. It's a cool game that I would recommend you check out. Next up, a game that feels more like a job. In Arena Renovation, you take on the role of a one-man renovation team tasked with restoring various sports facilities to their former glory. Many of them have been destroyed as a result of time or lack of care and it's your responsibility to not let them go into complete oblivion. Roll up your sleeves and breathe new life into them if you have absolutely nothing else to do with your time. Arena Renovation is sitting in with mostly positive reviews on Steam with a total of 21 reviews, so I guess that's a fairly good start. Next on today's list we have Hammer Kid, a charming pixel art platform adventure reminiscent of the good old 16-bit days. And if I'm not mistaken, this game serves as the foundation for the upcoming 2D platformer Tiny Tor. I'm not sure there is actually a need to say much more about this bad boy, a fun free to play 2D platformer that's just perfect to kill a few hours. Next up we have Take the Throne, which is a massive multiplayer battle royale game with up to 25 players in a free for all bloody fight to be the last one alive. I guess if Smash Bros and Roblox had a baby, this game would probably be it. It's kind of fun, but runs a bit like dog shit if you ask me but that doesn't necessarily make it less fun. See if you can get a few friends together and enjoy the chaotic madness that this bad boy has to offer. Again, it's free so it won't hurt to take it for a spin. The Epic Store And Warhammer 40,000 Gladius Relics of War. It's the first turn-based 4x strategy game set in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Four factions will engage in a brutal war for dominance over the planet's resources. You progress through a different storyline with each faction as their destiny on Gladius Prime, a world tainted by the warp unfolds. In the end, when all the dust has settled, only one faction can emerge victorious, and it's most likely not going to be yours. A quick shout out to Anno 1800. In Anno 1800, players will take charge of their very own fortune as they navigate the rapidly evolving technological landscape and malicious political arena of the 19th century. All of this in their quest to build an empire that will reach from the smog-filled cities of Europe to the teeming jungles of South America. 
Anno 1800 is a rich and juicy city builder, easily the grandest and deepest of the Anno series to date. Its early game is a wonderfully relaxing experience, while the later stages will have you stressed out to the max. Well, just like real life, I guess. I think it's one of the better city builders out there with just the right amount of complexity and depth. I even think I've gone so far and given Anno 1800 my world famous Sick Fish Tech seal of approval. Compared to some of the other games that we've discussed in this video, which only have free to play periods for like two days, Anno 1800 will be free from March 16th to March 23rd, which will really give you some time to be able to, you know, tickle those nut sacks in just the right way. The only caveat is that you'll unfortunately have to jump over to the Knucklehead's Ubisoft's website to get access to the game. Back to Steam for Lovebird. Lovebird is a rhythm based dating game about finding love one date at a time. You swipe right, uh, chat on Bumbird, and impress your dates by playing all the right words to the rhyme of the music. Sometimes I don't really understand what the hell I'm reading or understand why people would spend their time playing these types of games. But in fairness, uh, who am I to judge? If you're in the market for a free to play rhythm based love slash dating sim, then I have you covered. Lovebird is currently sitting in with positive reviews on Steam with a total of 41 reviews. A quick shout out to Call of Duty where you can play the multiplayer for free in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for a limited time between March 16th and March 20th. I guess this event is put in place to celebrate the release of the new Season 2 Reloaded multiplayer map. Now I'm not a Call of Duty player myself so I have absolutely no idea what I'm telling you but they're free to play for the next few days. Last but not least, we have the missing parts of Maria Guazdek, I think. The missing parts of Maria Guazdek is a dark fantasy visual novel about fulfilling your aspirations by sacrificing parts of yourself. Literally speaking. Damn, seriously, some of these developers need to go find professional help once they're done delivering amazing games for us to enjoy. In fairness, it's a short, sweet and really creepy story, ever which way you choose. In fairness, it had me squirming a bit there by the end of it, but I also have the same ball size as a 12 year old girl. And that pretty much brings us to the end of today's video. If you find any free games that I might have missed, please do me a favor and throw them in the comment section. Sharing is caring. And thanks a lot for taking the time to watch my video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, subscribe if you haven't liked. Why not? Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.